What's going on my fellow Remnant 2 Gamers, it's D-Werewolf Gaming and I want to say welcome back to the channel. Guys, uh, about four days ago I released a Nightfall bit of, a video, it was an updated Nightfall build that I thought was very vi viable for playing on Apocalypse. During that time period guys, when I released that video, I didn't know that there was actually a bug going on using the Hunter's Focus skill, which was giving you a 100% critical hit chance. So when I did find that out guys, I did leave a post and I did in the community tab and I did also comment in the comment section to let anybody know you know that there, there is a current bug that I was not aware of it's taking place using the hunter's focus skill so with that being said guys you know I tried out the build afterwards after the patch came out on Tuesday and of course it wasn't doing as much damage it kind of fell off a good bit so that being said you know I got to work I wanted to because you know the nightfall is just an amazing gun I said this before Guys, any gun that you can get infinite ammo 
and life still back is just amazing for surviving anything in this game and there's no boss that you cannot take out guys especially if you throw the right traits in there that fits your play style there's nothing that you cannot take out using this particular gun you know a lot of people i've seen people try to bash this gun especially after he's been nerfed so many times and i'm still able to beat everything in this game using this gun so that's why i'm still bringing you videos and work on content to for those who enjoy this gun as much as myself with that being said now in then my gameplay guys you will see i am going to showcase what i did the changes i made after i get finished fighting these bosses just to show you in this particular boss fight here the guys i was uh i want to go ahead and point out i was using the uh bisected ring so i can get increased the stamina and the, the necklace that goes with it that gives you a 25 percent increase in all damage but throughout most of my other fights i'm going to be using two other ambulance that i will showcase in the bill at the end of the video all right guys i do want to give a big thank you for everyone who has continued to support me on the channel guys it means a lot i really appreciate all those who always take time to leave a comment or oh, give me some sort of constructive feedback. There was one guy who uh, posted in the comment section. He was talking to me about the leaky, leaky gemstone and how it's just amazing for keeping your mods, being able to get your mods back a lot quicker. During the time period, I did have that ring on my character on the PC, but I, but you know most of the time I usually do most of my recording and play the game mostly on my PS5. So with that being said, I did not have it on my PS5 at the given time, but I did take time to go and inform and get that ring just so I can be able to make this build more viable when I bring this build to you guys. That being said, I'm gonna let you watch the rest of these uh, boss fights guys and we will go over the build breakdown shortly. Thank you for your valued time.
All right, guys. So we're basically coming up to the end of this boss fight. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I do want to mention right here on this boss fight, guys. I did. Uh, I did uh, on this particular build. I went with the original, one of my original Nightfall builds that I enjoy using when you use the Night Reaver's Grudge with the Tournament Flow Ring. Now I'm not going to show that when I go over the build breakdown. So I want to go and point that out now for those who may be watching the video and see that I did have a different amulet on. All right. So here's a little glint. Uh, Gameplay demonstration using the dummies just to show you the amount of sustainable damage you can get using this particular build. Guys, as you can see, I'm hitting 1,207 weak spot damage, and uh, I'm sustaining damages over 4,000 uh, DPS per sec, damage per second. You know, want to be exact. But that being said, this is just amazing build. The nightfall again is, is like I say, lots of survivability, decent damage. Let's go with this build real quick. Alright, so the build, guys, you've seen this build before, but I made some tweaks to it. Alright, so Chaos Gate was my skill. If you don't know, guys, basically boosts up your damage, but you do take a little bit more damage. And you also build up stacks. You get the 50 stacks, guys. It helps basically regenerate your mods. And if you don't know, guys, the the temp the basically the Archon class, for those who may be new, it's all about getting your mods back. So with that being said, I'm not gonna really go over all the traits and everything that you will have on this class. But, you know, the overall, every trait is designed basically to help you get your mods. For example, Power Leak, you gain um, 100 mod power for both of your weapons. Spirit Within reduces mod power requirements so you can get it back faster. Power Creep also helps you get uh, your mods regenerating faster. And then you get Amplify, which basically increases your mod damage and mod generation. All right, I did go to Hunter's Focus Skill. Still, it's still amazing, guys. Plus, it's the one that you can get back the quickest, so that's why I always go with it. 40 seconds is just amazing. Uh, whatever you have an armor set, you uh, armor you prefer. I did go with the Tranquil Heart just for that passive health regen. That's just amazing. It pairs very well using the um, the Nightfall. Now you could easily use the new the new Heart uh, Profane Heart as well. Now the Nightfall, guys. Uh, do want to mention now the name of the the main skill is called. You go base Dread Walker, you're in a nightmare realm. During this time period, you gain infinite ammo, increased rate of fire, and 10% lifesteal. That's, that 10% lifesteal is, is very viable. All right, I do use the hot top heavy mutator because you get 15% increased range damage and 20% up to 20% weak spot damage whenever the magazine is full. Guys, when you're in a nightmare realm, you're going to have infinite ammo, so you're going to always have that act. All right, your melee didn't matter. Your nebula, nebula, guys, if you don't know, it shoots out a swarm of nano machines that basically attack enemies and ads. Great for keeping those ads off you and does damage to the boss as well. And I'm using the feedback just so it can passively regenerate some mod. And uh, basically, overall, guys, this is just an amazing handgun to use. Uh, very easy to use. I recommend anybody who has never tried it, definitely try it out. Property cord, increased critical damage by 20%. All right, Burden of the Destroyer. Uh, you do lose ideal range by 35%, but you will get an increase in all damage by 15%. I tried some of the other range, guys, and I felt like this one was the most beneficial. All right, Zanius Malice, guys, you get up to 20% weak spot damage. And uh, the Leaking Gemstone, this allows 20% of mod power generation to continue then during the active mod. So basically, while your mod is active, you're still getting mod regen. All right, this amulet is just amazing. Found this in the road. If you're looking for it, it's random, so you got to keep basically playing until you find it. You gain infinite ammo and 15%. Increase in range damage. Just amazing, guys. I really can't say uh, a whole lot else about that amulet. I, you know, I recommend you go out there and play on the road till you find it. Just great. All right, take a look at my weapon stats. Critical damage 70%, range 65, 15% bonus damage, mod damage 50%, 30% weak spot damage, 5% range crit spot uh, crit chance, and 10% mod crit chance. All right, skills are the same. Come automatically, flash cast and long cast, triage. All these are basically going to be helping you survive. Got 10 points in everything until you get the gifted. That's your skills. Got three points in that. Uh, then steam skill duration. Two, uh, three points in, uh, two points in swiftness actually increase all movement speed. 10 points in vigor. 10 points in spirit. 10 points in expertise. 10 points in bark skin. 10 points in shakar basically in steam your duration of your mods. I have four points in siphoner so you can get some life steal back. And one point in endurance. All right, here's another amulet that you could easily use as well. But when you do use it, you also want to use the atonement full ring, guys, so you can get uh, that the, the the benefits from using this particular amulet. And to combat the bleeding, guys, you do have the tranquil heart equip, so you got that passive health regen, and you will be getting life steal, of course, from the nightfall. So you don't even have to worry about adding anything else, because you guys, you're going to be getting so much life steal back. Now, this this amulet is called 
indigenous fetish guys it basically taking damage increases all damage by 20 percent and reduces all damage that you take by 10 percent you are going to be taking damage from bleeding so you're going to always have that that 20 percent increase in uh, all damage you're doing and you're going to also have a 10 percent damage reduction just amazing it's so it's so many uh amulets that you can use with this particular build guys uh, like i said i was using the other amulet that gives you the 25 percent increase in all uh damage when using the bisected ring as well and that's just amazing i'm not going to show that right now guys because i'm not going to keep this video too long all right thank you for watching the content the werewolf out